Refuge and Shelter for Young People, Victims, of the Flood in Rio Grande do Sul, RS, Brazil, in the PDB Safe Destination in RN, Brazil. We of PDB Destination initially direct to young people, because it is easier to provide refuge and shelter for them. With young people we include young couples and young families. The safe destination in question is a part of the Paraiso do Brasil, PDB, destination which is located in a seaside area next to the beaches Praia do Calcana and Praia de Churros in Rio Grande do Norte. A safe destination is a destination that can host people and that features several and the most important elements needed to obtain and offer sustainability and autonomy, which in turn allow for a more economic lifestyle for those that choose for economy. There, these young people could practice healthy activities and sports such as running, biking, swimming, kitesurfing, windsurfing, canoeing, fishing, etc. for free. Income. They also could try to generate income as digital nomads, producing arts, medical assistance, organic agriculture, etc. They could also support this and other initiatives and eventual similar safe destinations or the development of them by means of media as influencers. They also can work out startup projects that involve land and PDB will see if PDB can provide the land if needed, the refugees themselves have to look for investors, investment brokers, incubators for startups, for their presented startup projects related to PDB, and PDB approved. Online courses do exist. Just as an example, such a startup could build small sustainable houses, cottages, and mini condominiums, markets and or shoppings or modular houses, cottages etc. Think tanks. They could be or be part of think tanks that have the intention to 1. Support and or prevent this or similar disasters to repeat in the same and other places of the world, which both are expected to increase significantly, probably even exponentially. 2. To set out, complete, promote and practice an action plan to support existence and to get Brazil and the world out of the perfect storm, that includes climate extremes and challenges. Capacity of the PDB safe destination. 1. With some basic support, PDB destination has the capacity to host hundreds or possibly thousands of young people. With certain basic support, we mean water pipes, electrical wires, a small number of solar panels, etc., which we hope will be donated from large as well as local suppliers. The complete and ideal list of basic materials is attached. 2. Without such basic support from outside parties, PDB on its own, still has the capacity to host some 20 to 40 young people for a limited period of time. With the above-mentioned basic support the PDB destination can host hundreds or even thousands of young people for more than three months and perhaps even a year or more. To obtain this support, PDB needs a group of people to look for donating suppliers, or public initiatives. There are videos and websites that explain in detail what PDB has to offer these young people, and other people, including elderly people, in the case of more than the basic help mentioned above. The refugee people are obviously free to prepare their own meals. In this video you see young people eating cheap but very tasteful meals, in fact their preferred meals with tapioca which is based on the cassava root that can be cultivated under an agroforest cover, prepared just for this group buy-in in one of the PDB restaurants. In the case of this video, it was about an event involving Brazilian university students who spent a week, a yearly celebration, in certain PDB facilities in 2018, and obviously the young people were not refugees from a natural calamity that took place in 2024. At this 2018 event, the accommodation offered to the young people was a courtesy of PDB. Meals ordered by the young people from the restaurant were paid for by the young people, students paid cheap prices for these for students' dedicated meals. While PDB features the necessary location and safe haven, PDB needs their and your help to seek contact with influencers, companies, etc. for support and donations from these influencers, companies, etc. Support and donations. 1. An influencer like Giselle Bunchen would be ideal, because Giselle Bunchen is already very active in this case and could have or get access to the contacts and supports this initiative's needs, immediate relief but also prevention, please respect her and other influencers and potential donating companies and do not make things inconvenient if she or they do not have the time or interest at this point. 2. Support and donations from companies like Tiger would be ideal, because they already supported social initiatives etc. on several occasions in the past. 3. Support and donations from solar panel producing companies, we are in need of only a few panels, an installation of 10 panels would already be significant in the case of a smaller number of hosted refugees, but the number of solar panels needed depends on the number of refugee guests PDB can host. 4. Support and donations from companies or public initiatives that provide food do not seem as essential at this point, but of course would be very welcome, especially in the beginning. 5. Support and donations from companies or public initiatives that produce or provide modular homes, 
container-like houses, trailers, etc., do not seem as essential at this point, but of course would be very welcome, especially in the beginning. This kind of donation should allow PDB to also host an equivalent number of non-young people and possibly elderly people. For every first 20 such donations that are announced until 12 th of June 2024 and delivered in the two months after that date, donations that fall under this number 5 of this support and donations paragraph, PDB Destination will donate a pitch totaling 20 pitches with houses, a pitch is a small plot or lot that is a fraction of registered land. 6. Support and donations from companies or public initiatives that produce or provide equipment for kitesurfing, windsurfing, canoeing, etc. do not seem essential at all at this point, but of course would be very welcome, especially in the beginning. Eventual donations from the part of PDB of such pitches, small plots or lots could be passed on to preferred influencers thrusted by PDB, like Giselle Bunchen, which could take care of the distribution of such properties. Apart from the donation, PDB would assist the beneficiaries, the ones that won a lot, to have the building license, in accordance to the received living unit, from the mayor house, municipality, on their names and to have the property registered in their names and make efforts to make eventual municipality taxes free for the first six years. The PDB safe destination currently has the places to set up emergency room structure, but it does not yet have the needed professionals to provide assistance, so young doctors are of course very welcome especially if they initially and partially could do volunteering work. The municipality of Churos and Cajueiro feature an important regional hospital with ambulances and emergency rooms. The PDB destination will make efforts to verify the presence of equipment in this regional hospital in Churos, and the PDB destination will seek guarantees from the city of Churos, the city of São Miguel do Gustoso, SMDG, and the government of RN. These cities as well as the government of RN have already given this kind of support previously for much less essential and less humanitarian events, so we hope and expect they will do the same for these young refugees. The event in the video was watched over by volunteer firefighters from Churos, to provide support and in case of emergencies. The event in the video from the year 2018 was a celebration of university students from universities all over Brazil, and such student celebrations often and traditionally include some less conventional and less healthy practices. This celebration was in the course of a week and included a lot of, almost day and night, dancing, open-air activities and some drinking etc., a podium for life events by themselves was present and in use during all days of the event. The climate in PDB destination is so favourable all year round that students do not bother to sleep in their tents but instead in open air, like for instance on the white sand and in hammocks mounted in between trees in the areas that were dedicated to them. We of PDB are convinced the refugees will practice a much healthier lifestyle, practicing a wide range of sports and possibly working in the land to produce at least some of their organic food. PDB Destination will provide some land where the refugees can practice compost production, organic agriculture and agroforestry, which are activities that are recommended in the action plan for existence that PDB presents and supports, amongst others because when done the right way, these practices will sequester masses of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, CD removal. PDB supports video channels and ebooks in several languages that promote the above action plan in favor of existence, quality of life, autonomy, etc., that also have the regeneration of the Amazon forest and tropical forests as an objective and the solution of threats to humanity and the perfect storm that includes climate challenges. Part of the solution and action plan is the sequestering out of the atmosphere, CD removal, of 35 to 100 billion tons of carbon dioxide a year. End note. Maybe for some as a surprise but the climate and extreme climate in RS Brazil is linked with the Amazon forest, namely the physical hydroclimate system of the Amazon, and its systematic degradation, which of course remembers us that the Amazon forest needs to be regenerated by means of a consistent action plan, like the one that is proposed and subject of many of our PDB video channels, which exist in five languages and can be considered international. As some of the few or the only solutions to avoid future similar catastrophes, a significant part of area of RS that is now productive or urban will need to be transformed in areas that will be forested or agroforested or even will have to be transformed in and stay reserved as regulatory floodway areas where nobody is allowed to live or practice economic activities. Thank you very much for watching and passing the link of this video and other videos to others.